Hey guys, welcome to Filmora Pro. My name's Johnny and we just released version 1.6 of Filmora Pro. This new update is packed full of features including video stabilization, animation behaviors, screen recording, and much, much more. Let's take a look. Filmora Pro version 1.6 comes with a couple new effects. Let's take a look at them. A new way we can add effects to our clip is by pressing this plus icon in the effects panel. We'll now get a large search box. We can type in which effect we're looking for. Let's select chromatic aberration, and now it will be applied to our clip. This is a cool effect you can use to get a glitch effect, or you could use it to get more of a retro VHS sort of look. Another cool effect is the auto stabilizer, which can be used to stabilize shaky or handheld footage, like this clip. If we open this effects heading, we'll see that auto stabilizer will be analyzing the footage. When it's done, we can adjust more parameters like the smoothness and crop window on the stabilized footage. If something is messing with your stabilization, you can even select and remove tracking points to help give you better results. Next, let's take a look at a new thing called behaviors. These work similar to effects, but have their own category. In Filmora Pro version 1.6, we've added a ton of animation presets, which you can apply to your clips, images, planes, and even text. Let's create some text with the text tool. Let's scale up our text and center it on our frame. And let's go up to the text panel, where you can see that there are a lot more parameters than before, including the ability to add multiple outlines. Now beforehand, the only way to animate this text would be to go to the transform properties and keyframe the position and scale. But now there's a faster way to add animations. Let's go to behaviors and add drop animation to our text. We can tweak the reveal length, which will control how fast the animation goes. and we can add motion blur under the clip properties to really sell this look. We've taken the screen recorder from Filmora 9 and brought it to Filmora Pro. Currently this feature is only available in the Windows version of Filmora Pro, but let's take a look. To start a new screen recording in the media panel, go to New Recording. You'll get a pop-up window where you can configure how you want to do your screen recording, including recording from a microphone or webcam at the same time. Filmora Pro version 1.6 has improved performance while exporting media, resulting in up to 25% faster exports. We've also updated the export UI. Now you'll have the options on the arrow beside the export button to export immediately or to add to your export queue. If you hit the export button itself, it will now render everything in the in out range immediately. Instead of being taken to a separate export screen, you'll see your export queue in its own panel. So that's a look at some updates for Filmora Pro version 1.6. There's a ton of new features and a few we didn't have a chance to get into today, including masks having individual unique colors and updated panel and container management. We'll have some more in-depth tutorials on all of these features on our tutorials page, so stay tuned for that. Are there any new features you're excited to use in Filmora Pro? Let us know in the comments down below. And remember, there's no limit to what you can make. <laughs>